It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels nor demons. Heaven or hell. It is through this that I found myself. I realize that I am not part of a team. I am the team. What is going on, people? It is your boy Sventi bringing you the fifth edition of MVP, a series on my channel where I bring you guys through gameplays of Battlefield 3, where I get MVP, kind of walk you through, tell you what I do. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a repeat map. I'm pretty sure I have Grand Bazaar on one of the previous episodes. And if I'm not mistaken, we are attacking on that game as well. But, you know, I just got this game last night. I had a hell of a time. Uh, an absolute blast playing it. And I think the reason why I decided to put this one up, because I have like 15, 20 of these gameplays. The reason I decided to put this one up was more or less because at the end, I go ham with a tank. Really show you guys how to use a tank to the full potential on this map i mean really when it comes down to it i think the tank is really under underutilized when you're attacking grand bazaar because it's like every now and then i'll come up against a team that actually uses them how they're supposed to be used but it's like eh, at the same time a lot of the times when i'm playing on a team we'll get some idiot on a tank that has no idea how to use them get it blown up right away or they'll do something retarded it just it usually doesn't end up too well but um Yes, we're attacking on Grand Bazaar. I am running the gun that I always run on Grand Bazaar 99% of the time. I would say when I'm attacking in particular. Uh, the P90, guys. This gun is not just an amazing gun. It is probably my favorite gun on the entire game. And, you know, really with that said, I don't use it a whole lot because I use guns depending on the map, depending on the mode, so on and so forth. A lot of that's depending on my kit as well. But I really like running the P90 with either the support kit or the assault kit. Now the reason I run it with support kit, well here, I'll break it down like this. When I'm playing on maps like uh, Grand Bazaar, CN Crossing, those kind of maps, Operation Metro, if I'm attacking, I run it with the assault kit. So basically, you know, I can run around, do my thing with a P90 and keep my teammates up, save us tickets, because you never know if it comes down to that last, you know, 15 20 tickets you're going to want to try to conserve them as best possible um now if i'm defending i usually run the p90 with a support kit and the reason for that being is that obviously we don't have to worry about running out of tickets so much it is important to keep your guys up and you're defending to hold your lines and whatnot but i would say when you're defending using the p90 with a support kit is a good idea because basically you're never going to run out of ammo you'll be able to both resupply yourself and your teammates with ammo which is definitely a big part of battlefield 3 um the p90 is actually an awesome smg especially compared to the pdw the asval the reason being is that you can see on the screen I have 51 shots to a clip, 51 bullets in a clip, which is absolutely amazing for an SMG. The rate of fire on this gun, absolutely phenomenal. The accuracy on this gun, even better. I mean, really, this gun is just absolutely insane. Now you can see right here, we get the B-bomb, I already got the A-bomb a little sooner. Now this just becomes an absolute clusterfuck, I'm just sitting there spraying the hell out of guys. And see, if I was using another SMG, I probably wouldn't have been able to spray for that long just because of the clip size. Well, the 51 bullets is definitely a nice thing. But pretty much right here, I'm just trying to uh, keep those guys from pushing up on us, and I'm trying my ass off to keep our team spawned, throwing down some medic packs and stuff like that. Usually, I would say 90% of the time, you're never going to see me going, going down this little choke point right here. This choke point is absolutely insane, and if you can make it through that while it's a clusterfuck, I give you kudos. Um, I would say if you're going to try to, maybe trying to run something like smoke would be really helpful. You can see right here, I'm just reviving these guys like a boss, picking them up left and right. Call me George, slap my dog. But, um, yeah, what was I even saying? 
God, I swear to God, it's been so long since I've done these commentaries. I think I kind of need to refine my skill at doing commentaries. But, um, yeah, you can see that choke point. It just gets to be such a clusterfuck, guys. I was like, screw that. That's what I pretty much do every game, and I always go around this way. Now, I usually go and get the B-bomb first, but sometimes I'll try to sneak in there, get A, because A is really tough to get. And you're going to see coming up in this game, that is where the tank comes in huge because A is such a bitch to get. If you got that tank and you use it properly, there is no stopping you. So I usually go around B, get that, and then we'll close around, flank the guys from the backsides and get A. But, you know, this team wasn't exactly a pushover team. It wasn't a team we were actually, you know, just going to run over, no problem at all. So, pretty much, I get this tank here, and I do what this tank is meant to do. I'm going to head out. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this gameplay. I strongly suggest you stick around to the end of the video because you are really going to get a lot of helpful tips from watching me use this tank. You know, try to do the same thing. Cover your enemies. Clear out the bomb sites. Most importantly, too, one thing a lot of people don't do is keep your tank alive. Keep that shit from exploding. Don't let it get damaged too much. And if you start getting damaged a lot, back out. You're going to see I use the IR smoke really well here. Just unloading on these dudes, getting a lot of kills and shit like that. Trying to clear up the bomb sites for my enemy, but you know, really, if it wasn't for the IR smoke being equipped on this tank, I probably wouldn't have been able to do what I did. So, you know, check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely be expecting plenty more of these MP MVP videos. And if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that for future videos on my channel, definitely let me know. I'm gonna head out, let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. So, until then, people, it is your boy Sven D. I'm gonna leave you with some badass music to some badass tank gameplay. And I am out. Peace!